Hey, what's up? Today is what is commonly referred to as New Guitar Day in the Wolf Den studio. Um, I recently bought this, um, what should be inside, a Kramer Pacer Classic from Musician's Friend. Um, had a gift card and some cash and some other stuff going on and wanted to buy one of these for, it's going to be on the album cover and I'm going to paint it up and do some other stuff with it. So let's just cut to the chase. within a box here. And this looks small, but yep, that's your typical, oh, that's cool. All right. So, yep, just a packing slip. Let's get a look at this. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, baby. Nice. Kramer box. So that's what that's the typical guitar box you expect to see. Alright, so let's get rid of this one. Just gonna set this there. It's not like I'm gonna put a ton in here. This is kind of pads it, but so there's just like three of these in there. No bubble wrap. Would have maybe expected a little more. All right, here we go. Tape. Figure out if it's taped. It is taped on the other side. And that goes all the way around. All right, here we go. Cardboard protecting the headstock. Typical covered, this like foamy material that they use to cover guitars when they ship. One trim bar. There is silica. Silica G. Sorry for use. Do not eat. All right, there's an extra uh, Allen wrench that they threw in there. Not sure. I'm hoping the regular ones are on the back of the headstock. So, and here we go. Rubber band on the headstock. Just to hold the foam on there. The pearl white. Bad to the bone. Got a little bit of cardboard there. Kramer. Still, still got the old Taga on it. Um, it's on the volume. These are. This is my second one of these, actually. See if we can get. There's a little bit of pearl in the finish. I'm trying to get. Let's see if we can see. There we go. A little bit of pearl. Nice zebra pickups. Floyd Rose. The Floyd looks pretty good. Actually, it's set dead. Is it set? No, there's a little bit of play. In it, but there's not a whole lot. It's set pretty close to the body. 
which I like a little more float than that personally. These are set up, so um, like I said, I have another one of these in red. This is uh, my second one, but this is uh, volume for neck pickup, volume for, or no, volume for bridge pickup, volume, volume for neck pickup, and then tone for both. And then pick up three-way switch. Loving the black hardware. Um, this may not stay white forever. I'm not actually a giant fan of white guitars, but this thing looks freaking awesome in person. Um, so yeah, this may get a paint job. It probably will. Like I said, I want to put this on the album cover, so I'm going to do something cool. Um, let's see what else you can see. Floyd Rose, it's looking good. You get a look at the saddles and everything, how it's all set up. Zebra pickups. Uh, typical strap button on the back. Um, this is pretty cool. They um, cut out this back. I usually take this plate off, but I haven't had to do that on my on the other one I have because they leave these access. Um, these little openings in the back cover plate. And there is the back electronics plate. There's the neck plate, you can see. This has got, this finish is pretty nice. It's, I don't know if I would call it a full on satin. It's got a little bit of gloss to it, just a touch. But it, to me, it feels really, really nice. Um, um, this definitely has a finish on it, but it's smooth and, uh, you know, it's not going to be, it's not going to be a problem to shred on this bad boy. Uh, the headstock is different than the last one I got about five years ago had the natural finish headstock. So this is pretty cool. I, I, I like it. Um, it's kind of a nice touch. Kramer logo. Right there, and on the back, got the um, got the wrenches for the Floyd. These tuners, they're just yeah, just stock tuners. The Floyd is connected through the top, so there's no. Um, some of the Floyd rows will have the two um, holes drilled out and have the um, locking nut anchored from the back. This is top mounted, which I kind of like better. Um, the frets are in great shape. There's none of those, like sometimes you get a new guitar and there's these little little burrs where they're sticking out and I'm not feeling that at all. Really nice shape. So, there you go. And let's see what else is in here. Got the old Tiger. How to adjust the neck with adjustable truss rod. So, yep, truss rod up top. It's just some instructions about standard adjustments. There's that. And then, boom, free sticker. Woohoo! tune this up and uh, maybe I'll add some add some shred to the video rock and roll thanks for watching check out uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're into shred guitar cool stuff uh, recording in the studio um, home recording basement studio stuff uh, subscribe to this channel also check out musically check out cutter savage on YouTube also subscribe there and check out Cutter Savage on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, you know all the places. You know where to go. You know. Rock and roll. All right, so I'm plugged in, and one of the things I didn't mention before is I really, really like the tuning stability of the Floyd Roses on um, these guitars, Kramer Pacer Classic. Uh, 
I, like I said, I have one of these that I bought about five years ago, four or five years ago, and the Floyd just stays in tune like a rock, um, which you may not expect for, um, you know, a guitar of this price. Um, odd thing is, I, when I got started tuning this up, I noticed that the whole thing's tuned down half a step, so is that a nod to toward Eddie? I don't know, is someone in the factory um, making a making a joke or a nod to, to Ed in the first few albums? I don't know, but uh, there it is. It's down, the low E was, was D sharp, so there you go. sounds good though so I mean this one's a little bit farther from the strings I mean it's in there so it's mounted right so it sounds good so whatever <laughs> Not definitely. I don't know what I'm talking about, but they seem hotter than the last round of uh, Kramer Pace Classics. They sound a little bit. Gosh, I don't even want to say brighter. It's it's maybe a touch brighter, but um, just a little bit hotter. Like it's pushing more juice. I'm running a um, whatever it is, the Boss uh, DS1. So the classic orange pedal, SD or DS1, I always forget. DS1. Um, so, and that's, you know, pretty classic shredder stuff into a delay, just, you can kind of hear it. Those, like the pinch harmonics, man, are just coming through so, so nicely. Um, so I'm guessing when I tune to E, maybe when I tune to E, it'll 
you know, bring my bar, the, bring the lift, the Floyd off of there a little bit more than it is now. Because I like to, uh, I like to go back a little bit more.